Hello, fellow travelers. Good morning, I should say. I'm Jeb Brooks with greenergrass.com, and for those of you who are subscribers and expecting me to post my island hopper flight, fear not, it's coming. But right now, uh, I'm back in the US, and I am so excited because today I'm flying with Delta from Greensboro, North Carolina, my home airport, to Atlanta, Georgia, my most common route. But this is a particularly exciting time flying the route. That's because it's my one millionth mile flying with Delta Airlines. So I'm gonna share this trip with you, not because it's a particularly special route, uh, but it's just a really exciting day. So uh, today we're flying with an MD-88 uh, between here and Atlanta, a pretty quick 45 or 50 minute flight, but let's check it out. Let's head to the airport. Uh, hope you'll join me. This channel is about reviewing airlines, so I do my best to be objective about whatever airline I happen to be on. That said, I've had some pretty special experiences through the years with Delta. I had the chance to fly on their very last regularly scheduled 747 flight. I got to interview Ed Bastian, the airline's CEO. I flew on the inaugural flights for the Delta A350 and A220 aircraft. And since opening my SkyMiles account in 2006, I've flown 999,730 miles. After today, that number will top 1 million. By the time I reached the gate, boarding had already begun. Fortunately, as a Diamond Medallion member and a first class passenger, I was able to get right on. Delta's million milers receive a few benefits, including lifetime silver status, special bag tags, and the choice of gift. Unlike most of the fleet, this older MD-88 didn't have seatback entertainment, but that was okay. This was only a 48 minute flight and there was plenty out the window to entertain me. Delta passengers with two or three million miles under their belts receive gold status for life. Fly four million and you'll be a lifetime platinum flyer. If you fly more than five million miles with Delta, you're probably a member of the crew or something. <laughs> Just kidding. Loyalty to an airline certainly pays off. When I began traveling for work back in 2006, I chose to commit to Delta because of the frequency with which they served Greensboro. I've stayed because of the so-called Delta difference, and that's about the people. In my experience, frontline Delta employees share a consistent kindness and compassion that's simply nice to have. The downside of that consistency, of course, though, is when things don't go well, it sticks out a lot more. But the crew on this flight were awesome. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. If you didn't, double click the thumbs down button. I'm really excited about this uh, uh, achievement. I hope you are too. Leave me a comment. What do you think of Delta? Between now and the next time, see you in the sky.